Phantom of the Idol, aka Kami Kuzu Idol, is a comedy that follows the idol duo of Zings. The members are Yuya Nido, a quote, crappy idol with a nice face and no motivation. He became an idol in order to have fun making money. And Kazuki Yoshino, a gentle and kind personality and always follows Niyoto. He is not confident in himself and has a negative side. There is also the spirit of Asashi Mogami, who was a national idol who boasted legendary popularity. She had a car accident a year ago and became a ghost. Basically, Yuya sucks at being an idol because he has no motivation, but he meets the ghost of a legendary idol who recently died, Asashi. They work together mainly by Asashi possessing him to try and make Zings the most popular idol group ever. Yuya is honestly in it for easy money and, Asaha, and Asashi cannot be perceived by anyone else and sees this as her chance to live on her dream as an idol. The show is pretty funny, Yuya being the source of all comedy and pretty much all plot points in general. The show is basically a series of comedic attempts to motivate Yuya to do anything and people reacting to him doing things or not doing them. <laughs> And that's pretty much what the main cast is doing. But we also have the B-plot stuff, which follows a trio of Yuya's most hardcore fans. It's not easy being the fan of a very apathetic guy, but most who are do so in an almost cult-like fashion. They're able to help contextualize much of what Yuya and those around him do with their various levels of excitement. The, show's, the show tackles themes of what it means to have fans, what it means to work towards your dream, what it means to be a fan. The meta narratives in this show aren't a big priority, which is expected of most comedies, but, but they're there. You really feel like the show is trying to say something whenever Yuya actually cares for once. Overall, the show is pretty funny. I had many laughs and I had a smile on my face pretty much the whole time. Honestly, the biggest drawback for this show is when they do songs. Like, I don't... I don't mind the songs, they're not bad, but the choreography is just kind of whatever. A lot of other idol shows will really turn up the visuals and the performances, uh, but this show, yeah, it doesn't really do that, it just, it, it's just rotoscopes and, and has some interesting angles every now and then, but that's about it. But you know, for a comedy about idols, I give this like a 7 out of 10, I had a good time with it. That's all I really got to say about this show. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you next time.